Let's just solve this problem together so I can scroll through and show you it piece by piece. Figure L and M are shown on the grid below. All right. Those are, there's L, there's M. I notice one's a rectangle, one's a square. So something's changing. Let's read the question. Maria wants to transform L to M using only rotations, reflections, and translations. Which statement is true? Well, I know it's true already. She can't do it, right? It can't be done. Why? Because when you're using these uh, things, when you're using rotations, reflections, and translations, it, first of all, it does not change the size of a shape. Only a dilation, dilation, changes size. But even then, the dilation, if it's applied evenly, which it usually is, uh, just scales the shape up or down. For example, if I have a rectangle, right? So this is a rectangle. Then I dilate it. It's just a fancy way of saying, okay, take this thing, copy it, and translating it slides it around, over, up. So translation won't change anything except the position of the shape, up, over. That's a translation. Um, a dilation would make it larger, right, or smaller. But the angles are the same. It's still the same shape, just bigger or smaller. A rotation is a turning of a shape. Now, when you turn a shape, um, what happens? Well, you turn it. The angles remain the same. The sides remain the same. It's still the same shape. A reflection, of course, is like a translation in a lot of ways. Um, but it, it might put the shape backwards in some ways. I don't have a, ref do I have a reflection tool on here. Maybe I do. Um, so I want to try to reflect this. So with a reflection, oops, oh cool, I do have a reflection tool on here, I just wanna, <laughs> wasn't sure of that. So, sorry, that's cool, I didn't know that. So here's, a, if I have a, let's use a triangle. I'm gonna draw on the right side, and as I draw it, it's gonna reflect it on the left side. I'm gonna scroll down, so isn't this cool? Draw here, see the reflection. How it works essentially is that this point moves all the way over here. The inner points stay on the, on the inside, but essentially this shape has been flipped in orientation. So a reflection from, let's say, A to B, A is a symmetrical shape when you reflect it, so A to A prime, we call it. Oops, I can't do that. Uh, I have to turn this tool off. So once you have A and you reflect it across a line, it goes to A prime, it might change its orientation, flip it, so to speak, but it'll remain an equal distance from the line of reflection not drawn perfectly, this should be, these two distances should be equal. Uh, but it's, the angle's the same, the shape is the same. So you can't use transformations to change a shape. So D is the answer, it cannot be done. Thanks. Oh, oh boy. No, Sean, D is not the answer. C is the answer, ah, uh, why? Well, they both say it can't be done, but D says it can't be done because they're in different quadrants. Remember the quadrants? One, two, three, and four. That has nothing to do with it. It has to do with the fact that figure L is not congruent to figure M. And I think um, the reason they use the word congruence, which means the same, and not the word similar, is because dilations is not listed on uh, the transformation list. If dilation was listed, you'd have to say that they're not similar. Similar means the size changes, but the angles remain the same. Congruent means even the size is the same, but it's just in a different location. So that here, because you're using only reflections or rotations and translations, it would have to be congruent. All right, thanks. Hope this helped.